Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to Scrap and Craft with Terry. Today we're going to work on our junk journal January 2024 hosted by Meg Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art. If you like my video I just ask that you check out my other videos. Click on the like and subscribe and hit the bell next to it and YouTube will notify you when I upload my videos. And I appreciate everyone that stops by. So let's get started. Now today, our prompts are, as I'm going to do a double video, so our prompts are 6 and 7, Memory and Stitched. And uh, I kind of had to think about it a little bit. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on this page here, so I'm going to take it out of the book. Um... For my memory was going to be when I got married. I got married in 1987, so I've been married 36 years. And this is not going to be extravagant by any means. It's just going to be one small paper for both prompts. So using this as my background paper because our colors well my dress of I don't know if I should say of course or not but my dress was white this was lace from it and I have lace from my wedding dress and my flowers was pink my husband's tux was um, just a light gray so when my daughter got married, we used um, fabric and lace from my wedding dress to make stuff for, for her wedding when she got married. So worked out well. So I still have some of the lace left over. So I thought that would be my memory for today. So as part of the stitched is I cut this out of the lace so I'm going to just stitch the little flowers on. I'm not doing a whole lot of stitching because sewing used to be my really, really big thing. In the past few years, it just hasn't been. So that's going to be my stitching. So anyway, hope everyone's having a nice day today. I don't think this needle's the sharpest needle around, but it's gonna do. And I'm just using um, embroidery floss. I used to love to sew so on my sewing machine, do a lot of quilting. Years before that, I did a lot of embroidering. Loved to sit and embroider. But, you know, sometimes as time passes, things change. So... I do as little sewing as possible now. But that's just a me thing. And I'm just going to run my thread right over to that one. So 
So the stitching is just going to be simple. They didn't say it had to be anything extravagant, so that's a good thing. Okay, and that's all I'm doing for my stitching. Nothing special, but there it is. Now, Let me see. I just cut these flowers out of, well, let me see. I don't think I didn't, I didn't ink this one. Well, let me ink this one real quick. Probably not the same pink, but that one's in the other room. We'll just ink around the edge a little bit. There we go. Well, this gray didn't get done either, so I'm going to pause my video right now. I'm just getting started. We'll just do a little black. Just to highlight them. Okay. Now, on the side over here, I'm just going to put some of these flowers. I just punched these out with my, my little flower punch. I like it. Works good. I'm going to put three down this side. Just going to kind of lay it out. Let me trim this just a little bit. Tried to cut the two pieces together in my punch, but it was too heavy. So, I'll put them two together. I'm just going to put these flowers on the side. And of course, these flowers represent our colors. And then on the bottom, I just cut off a piece of the lace. And I just want to kind of lay it down here. I'm going to let it hang off of the paper just a little bit. I'm just going to glue that down. Just bring these down a little and even them out have to lay everything out so I can see for sure what I'm doing. So I think I'll go ahead and glue them down. Just glue these together. Just offsetting the petals a little bit. Glue that down. I want to leave that flower uncovered because I want to put a little gem on it. Everyone is having a nice day today. 
I intended on having this done a little bit earlier. But didn't work, so we'll do it now. Yeah, I glued that one. Okay, and we'll glue this one. I can say this one made me think a little bit. I really had no idea what I was going to do for it. Had a lot of things swimming around in my mind up there. But I couldn't I couldn't come to conclusion on one one certain thing till a little earlier. I'm just going to glue this. Hopefully I'm on the camera. Just gonna put a little of my fabric tack down here to glue this down. I thought this would just kind of border the bottom a little bit. I don't want it up too far. I want it to hang off a little bit. For the lace being that old, it's really in nice shape. I can say that. Okay, now let me see. What do we want to do next? Um, for my for my wording in my memory. I come up with single moments make great memories and the year that I was married 1987 and I thought that would go good on there so, I'll just use this. Sometimes, I don't know, for me anyway, sometimes it's just hard to come up with different things. I mean, the challenge is great. Sometimes I have to sit and think about it a little more. Now, up at the top, I took a couple pieces of the lace, and I thought I would just set, or, yeah, lay my prompts on it, just glue it down. And then I'm just going to stick an extra flower up in the center because it just looked like it needed something. Just 
So I think once these are glued down, hopefully it'll have enough room for the paper to, or the page to close. Maybe I just need to trim these a little bit. I think I'll go ahead and glue these on on the lace just so I know how it's going to fit. I'll just trim this down a little. Just kind of cut it haphazardly because it's just a piece and it's been cut off of so leave it lay like that and it can dry for a second Of course, this, the glue soaks right through the lace, so I get it all over my fingers. And then I can cut the end off of this one some. I could probably cut this just a little shorter. Figured once I got to putting it together, I'd have to trim it up. And that should fit across there. Now I'm wondering if I just glue this my flower down just in the center, I should be able, if I have to, to um, slide the lace underneath. Okay. Yep, be able to slide that right under there. I'll go ahead and put that there. And of course, this is not going to be a long video. And then let's see, we should be able to slide this under here. Oh yeah, There's plenty of space. Now, I have to glue this down. And I'm just going to leave it set off of here just a little bit. Well, it's a little cockeyed, but it's stuck, so it's going to stay there. All right, now we're going to add some little gems. To make everything shiny. On these three here, I just want to put these gems.
almost to make it look like diamonds. I almost hit the camera with my head again. Okay, now that makes that corner look nice. Since I did that, I'm thinking I'm gonna want some down here, so in a minute I might have to get me some more. Now on these, I'm just going to put these little pink ones. And I think them will be plenty big enough. So we'll just put a little dot there. They're supposed to be sticky, but I don't trust the sticky because they I've had them fall off before. I don't want them to fall off. So we'll set that one there. I want one there and I want one in the center and then I'll put one over here so I'm gonna grab some more of these and I'll be right back okay so let's see actually that's the petal and that's the petal but maybe they're there and there maybe I'll put a pink one off to the side over here One there and one there and one there. Them two will kind of be close together, but that's okay. The glue from these stick better to my finger. And then I think I want to put a pink one. Mm, I don't know if I should. I might have to grab another clear one. But up here, I want to just dress up some of these with the little pink ones. You know, inside of a journal, you shouldn't put too much stuff that sticks up, but. Well, them must be the only smaller ones that I have. So, I'll take that small one and put it over there. it better when it turns out the way you want it to like you have enough of what you need but what are you gonna do okay 
Now I have to grab another one for there. Makes me feel like a jumping jack. Okay, that looks better. I don't think the pink one would have looked good at all. So these two pages are kind of bumpy, but not every page. I guess not, I guess you don't have to write on every page. So, but anyways, that's my video for today. Not too much stitching, but that's my memory. So, I hope everyone enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, um, ideas, leave them below in the comment section. And I hope you come back to see me for my next video. Until then, happy crafting. Bye.